I basically have three concerns. One is that the province of this board to manage the managers in the sense of they have a right to determine who they need for employees. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Secondly, I don't think we have enough information absent town council's presentation of the impact of this on his group to make a, an intelligent decision. And my third is in the form of a question. Has a contract been signed already? Yes. Okay. So we should get the legal implications of the fact that there is a contract. If you, if, if are we now legally bound to honor the contact the town entered into, where the people who entered into they had the authority to do so. You're not bound by the contract, but you. What your concern is is the budget itself. Right. You can always choose not to fund something. Mm -hmm. That is the right of the budget committee. Yeah, I realize that. You didn't enter in the contract. None of us here did. No, but if the budget committee fails to fund the position that is legally binding by contract, the town may still have the obligation to pay. You have you have a twenty-seven million dollar request sitting here. Right. Twenty-seven million dollars. There will be a way to fund that. I'm just giving you the real. There'll be a way to fund that contract. <coughs> All right. That's the reality of. Above the bottom line on a budget. And it, I think this this has been answered many times before by your committee. You folks don't set policy, the Board of Selectmen do. But you deal with money. You right. can voice your displeasure by cutting money. Now that may mean that something else is going to get cut because they do have obligations. That, that That's not new. This has happened many times before. So, um, so noted. <coughs> I still am not comfortable that we couldn't end up paying for a position we don't fund because of a legal obligation by contract. I'll let it rest there.